Hi folks, welcome back to ECS Coffee. Jack here, and today we're gonna go over all of the bun machines we have in stock. What's different about them, what's the same about them, and an overview of just what they are and how they're different. So let's get started, let's take a look and see what the bun machines are. And first we'll check out how they work. So first thing we're gonna do before hopping into the video is check out this little graphic made by Bun. Now this explains how the bun machines work. So you always have the water tank filled with hot water. When you pour in cold water in the top, that displaces the hot water, which then sends it through the coffee and then into the pot, which gets you a coffee brew. And then there's the warming plate on the bottom. And that's for all the machines except for the heat and brew. So yeah, let's jump into the first machine. So this is the lowest cost machine, the first we're gonna look at. It's called the Classic Speed Brew Coffee Maker GR White. On the box, it says Infuser GR, which is kind of confusing and is why there's some confusion, but we're gonna open it up, we're gonna take a look, and we'll use this machine to sort of dive into how bun machines work a bit more and get a little bit more specific. Um, the rest will follow and we'll take a look. All right, so it is out of the box now. Uh, Basically, like most of the bun machines, it has a 70 ounce water tank. Uh, they say that that brews 10 cups. We'll get into why that's not so accurate in the next few minutes. Um, the time it takes is just four minutes for a pot of coffee, which is 50 ounces, and the hot water will heat in eight to 14 minutes. But so long as you always leave it on and plugged in, you'll never have to wait for that. It's just a one-time sort of first setup thing. Uh, if we open up the top, you can see this is where the water goes in. You close it, it gets started. It starts with that displacement we spoke about. This little bit up here is what actually lets the cold water in so that the hot water gets displaced and into the pot. Um, so it doesn't actually do any dripping until you close the lid. So once you plug it in, uh, well, I can't plug it in, you can turn on the machine just on that switch. The top switch is just for the warming pad. So that's optional. Those are the only two switches. Once that's on, it's heating and it will heat and stay hot. You pour the water in the top, it displaces the hot water, which then goes up and then fills the pot after going through the coffee. So since we have this little bit up here, the easiest way to do it is to fill your pot with water, then fill it through the top, and then you can put your pot back at the bottom. And then when you close the lid, that'll release the water and start the brewing process. So you can see here just the grate and the little prong. That's all that there is really to see in the top. You close that, water will start coming out. It's an instant thing. It takes four minutes, it's very quick. And it has the bun uh, spray head, which is four bun machines themselves and allows for more dispersal of the water and a better overall coffee taste. So the water runs through the bun filters. You gotta use bun filters and then down into the pot. It's a simple process, works really well, and uh, it does a good job at making coffee. That's what it does. All right, let's move on to the next machine. All right, so this is the Classic Speed Brew Coffee Maker BX, as their website says. It's the Speed Brew Classic, BX Black, BXB. There's a few different names for it, but this is it. It's the standard bun machine, stainless steel design, a bit of an upgrade from the previous one, but overall, same functionality. So let's get this out of the box and we'll check it out. All right, so here it is out of the box. It's got a nicer stainless steel design. You can see the stainless steel water tank at the back. Uh, this one has a warning sticker on it, so you know to fill it with water before turning it on. Um, that's a thing that was missing from the previous one. Um, but it's there, same pot, same sort of system, same filters, and same displacement method. The top is pretty much the same. It is just a black plastic instead of white. It has the two switches and it has the water filling reservoir at the top. It's the same system, um, nothing special like we're gonna see in some of the later machines. Um, it uses the same method to activate it with that little piece of plastic coming which releases the plunger and lets the water go. So yeah. Let's talk about the coffee pot though, because this tank is 70 ounces and it fills the pot that's 50 ounces. It leaves 20 extra as a buffer. And they claim that's 10 cups, but we're gonna talk about why that's not really true. The 10 cups is a European standard for five ounce cups. 
we're going to show you American cups. So these are American cups, Canadian cups, North American standard size coffee cups. These mugs are 12 ounce, they hold about 10. But I filled the 50 ounce pot to the top with water and we're going to pour in a regular cup of joe size of coffee into these mugs. This isn't a science experiment, so I'm not measuring each cup. We're just going to fill it to about what seems right, what the average person might make for a cup of coffee. So that's the first one done. Here's the second one. And we will move to the third and we'll get you a different camera angle so you can see how much I'm filling these up. Uh, there we go. And we'll do the fourth. I might be able to finish it in just the fourth. Um, and no, not quite. So I filled up the fourth a bit too much, but the fifth just drips. So it'll get you five, four, four, five cups of coffee, standard cups. If you're using it sparingly, maybe you can get six, potentially seven. But the 10 cups they advertise on their boxes, they're five ounce cups, which is very small. All right, this is the next machine we're gonna cover. This is the big brother to the previous machine. This is the BT Brewer, or the Classic Speed Brew Thermal Coffee Maker BT is what it's called. It advertises the same 10 cups thing on the side. We already went through that. Um, but this is a thermal version of the previous one. So let's get it out of the box. Alrighty, so here it is out of the box. Uh, it's a lot of the same design as the previous one, except this one has a thermal carafe and does not have a warming plate. That's because if you were to use the carafe on a warming plate, you would burn the carafe or make it unbearably hot, which would be pretty bad. You wouldn't want that. So this gets rid of that and you have a carafe instead of a glass pot. Uh, that's the only real difference about this machine from the previous one. It comes with a cleaning brush as expected for the carafe. And as far as the water tank goes, it's the exact same. 70 ounces, fill it the same way, close the lid, it works the same way. So I'm not going to repeat myself a bunch about it. Uh, you may see the carafe though and think, hey, this is bigger. This is a chunky boy. It's also 50 ounces. So we're still talking that 10 5 ounce cup thing. Um, not going to fill a full 10 American cups, but it works. You're not losing anything with it. You just get a carafe instead of a warming plate. Decent deal. Alrighty, next up we got the Speed Brew Elite Coffee Maker Black. So this is a different design. In my opinion, I kind of like it a bit better. It's less industrial, more homey looking. So we're going to open it up, see how it works. It's pretty much the same as the previous ones, just a fresher design, a fresher look, and more of a home aesthetic. So let's get this out of the box. So this is the first machine to come with a deliming tool, which I have in my hand. And this is what you use to sort of snake through the spray head so that you can clean it. Otherwise, this is it. This is the Speed Brew Elite Black. Um, it's got a nice chrome handle on the uh, filter basket, which is nice. The pot also has that nice chrome handle. It's a good overall theme. It's got that more elite aesthetic with the chrome band on the top and the chrome on the handles and then the matte black finish. It also has a little blue light on the warming plate, so that turns on and lets you know when it's active. And not to mention the chrome backing. This is also the first bun machine we're covering that comes in a high altitude model. Now, I may have thought at first that that was for airplanes, which I mean, maybe it works for, but that's for places like Denver or places in the mountains. It just works better. The sprayer head works better and it's better for the pressure. Um, the way the machine works is still the same. Warming plate and a power button. Those are the only two switches. Otherwise, it's just water displacement. So we got that switch on the right side this time or I guess the machines left are right, and we got the warming pad switch right there. So that is basically all the electronics of the machine. And so this machine is basically the same on the inside, but if we open it up, there is one little difference with this one. This one has a little step system, so you can see how much you're gonna be brewing into there. Now it says how many cups you're making. This is in the 10 cup system, so each one represents a five ounce cup, but you get two, four, six, eight cups, and that's how you know much, how much water you're putting in. It can brew 20 ounces in, I believe, two minutes, and the full thing in four minutes. So if you want to brew just for one cup, you could do that a bit easier with this one. All right, this is the next machine. This is the Speed Brew Platinum. 
or the full name is the Speed Brew Platinum Coffee Maker Black. So that's the model we're looking at right now. It's a lot the same as the previous one. However, like the BT Velocity Brew, this one so has a craft. Um, it's different than the previous one, so we're going to take a look when we open it on up, which we're going to do right now. All right, I just had to stop for a moment. I noticed this metal and plastic coffee carafe that's very sturdy is wrapped in layers of bubble wrap and plastic, whereas all of the glass coffee pots have just been sitting in the cardboard box with no protection. I find that just a little amusing and odd why they choose to spend their bubble wrap money on the sturdiest thing they have, but let's get on to the machine. All right, so here it is. This is the Speed Brew Platinum. It is a lot like the Elite in the way that it's designed, and it is to the Elite what the BT Velocity Brewer is to the Speed Brew Classic, and that is the carafe version. So this one has the big carafe, the nice chrome handle, different top, uh, which is interesting. Um, it has no warming plate like the other carafe for the reason that heating up a metal carafe is a bad idea will ruin your counters and will ruin your carafe and your hands when you try to pick it up unsuspectingly so there is no heating plate on this but you do have that carafe and it has that nice home aesthetic shiny nice matte black looking look this also comes in the high altitude variant if you live in a high altitude area Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. I did also notice that on this one as well, the filter basket also has a chrome handle, which is a nice little addition that I actually really like. But with that being said, let's move on to the next and final machine, the Heat and Brew. So this is the Bun Heat and Brew. It is the most different machine they have. It does not use the same method as the others. It is SCA certified, which is the Specialty Coffee Association, which basically certifies that it can reach certain temperatures and it'll make a, a good cup of coffee, real good. So it's certified with all that. It's got auto on off. It's got a digital display. So let's get it out of the box. All right, here it is. This is the Heat and Brew. Uh, if we open up the top, it's got that water reservoir at the top. This one is 50 ounces, and it is not always heated. Unlike pretty much all of the previous bun machines, this one does not use water displacement. This one actively heats as it's brewing. That's where it gets the name heat and brew from. So you have to fill the reservoir every time you want to use it, and then put the pot under and then actually hit brew. That's why this one takes a bit longer. Um, overall, it still uses the same spray head mechanism. However, it is a different brewing process. As it says on the website, once it reaches the temperature of 197.6 Fahrenheit and or between 204.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the SCA approved temperatures, um, it will automatically release and then it will brew. So it takes a bit longer than the other machines uh, coming in at about six minutes for a 20 ounce travel mug and 10 minutes for the full coffee pot, which is again 50 ounces, which of course they advertise to be 10 cups. Uh, you can't fit a travel mug in it like this, so you're going to have to actually brew into the pot and then pour into the mug. But that's not that big of a deal. As I said earlier, it has auto on and off, so you can set a time for it to come on earlier in the morning. You know, you can pour water in the night before and it will heat as it brews. But this is a good one to pick if you don't like having that always hot water on your counter, the always running machine. This one's different. It still makes great coffee. It's SCA certified, so you know you're getting a good coffee. All right. That is the lineup of bun machines that we carry and that we're covering today. Uh, we got all six right up here stacked in their fancy boxes, not their exterior uh, brown boxes. But overall, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Um, if you'd like to buy the machines, you can do so at our website, ecscoffee.com. As always, I've been Jack. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like and have a great day. Adios.